Hi, this is Russ Heider from the Jewelry Cat Institute, and today in this project we're going to deal in making a shadow band or a wedding band that goes up next to this particular scanned item by Elux 3D. Uh, so we've brought this in, it's an STL file, and our workflow is going to be trying to make a wedding band that will go along the side. I'm not going to put any diamonds or anything like that at. I'm going to be using matrix 9 in this particular case. Uh, we could do this in matrix 7, 5, 6, whatever. Whatever version you might have, you'd be fine doing this. Uh, pretty simple way of doing this uh, in this case. Uh, we're going to first of all get a circle here on F4. And you want to make sure that your your ring from uh, Elux 3D Scan comes in so that it's center pointed. Uh, in other words, along F4, so we can get the proper ring size here. So I'm going to zoom way in here in the through finger viewport. And we'll left click there. All right, now I want to move this out a little bit. I'm a huge proponent of mastering curves and surfaces. So uh, in this particular case, we're going to try and um, do this from different views to get our curves properly situated. Now. What we're going to do is try to trace this side over here. We're going to make it a little bit along the outside of this piece. And you really can't do it other than free form. I mean, if you're going to come in here and try to, you know, lay something perfectly along here, um, that's okay. We can just trace this guy right on up this side. So, um, let's go to user 02. And we're just going to go to the curve menu and use our interp curve tool here. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to come right up alongside of this. And, and uh, you know, be as perfect as you can. But, you know, in reality, you're going to have to make some adjustments anyway in this piece once you get it made for various reasons. You have human intervention. You have a casting that shrinks. You have a polisher that's a gorilla. And he wants to come in and just polish everything away. So, you know, there is some human human stuff to this. Um, didn't want to do that, but hey, we'll rebuild it when I get up here anyway. And whenever you go around a sharp curve like that, just put about three knots there. And I'm just going alongside here as, as best as I can. It, like I said, it doesn't have to be perfect just close and you can see uh, how many faces this thing has I mean must have over a million is what I'm thinking okay I'm gonna go ahead and join these these two curves up and then I'll go ahead and rebuild that probably won't have to. I'm going to build it at the same amount of points so we don't change the curvature of it very much. Um, let's see what we got here. Change it a little bit more than I wanted to there. Okay. Uh, now we've got this particular this curve that we uh, are going to sweep something around here in a minute. Um, so that being said, what I like to do is just to show for visual. You don't necessarily have to do this, but for visual, I'm going to go ahead and uh, extrude this as a single surface, okay, and do it straight. So all you got to do is hit enter, and boom, out comes your uh, we'll change that to something darker like blue. All right, and then we're also going to take the curve that we just made and we're going to extrude that straight. Okay, so we've got that. Yeah, we'll just put that in a little job baggie over here. Okay, so we want to do a curve. Uh, intersection here between these two surfaces and that's going to give us a curve that we can sweep a profile around okay all right so uh, let's go ahead and choose this surface and this surface 
curve menu. Uh, let's make this eh, Gem 04. Make it a lighter color here. You could even make it white if you want. Um, and hit this uh, intersection and then hit enter and then we can get rid of the surface and this one and you'll now have this curve that pretty much goes right around what we're looking at here the, the key is looking at this round part here all right all right now I really don't need this supposed curve or ring rail or if, as you might think um, we're going to take uh, this profile uh, or this curve and we're going to put this profile on it now um, I'm going to start it down here at the bottom at zero and then we're going to adjust it to the size and width we need okay we can bring it down to about 1.6 I think is what we came up with before and just depending on how wide you want your ring I mean we can make it I'm going to make this 1718 something like that one nine's fine and then we're going to move this out okay with an x offset so that we're riding on the outside of the rail okay once you get it there go ahead and hit enter and then all this is going to be is a single rail sweep now if you wanted the band to be higher up here all you got to do is take and add a profile here come up here add another one then sweep those two together um, you can offset this curve here outward so that it becomes um, a two rail sweep again to your own flavor what you want to do let's go ahead and uh, do a one rail sweep this time we'll use <clears throat> this rail this profile enter and then let's make it uh, heads layer and we'll just say okay all right so there you are now is it exactly perfect we're along the side of this thing it's a little off here and there but let me tell you something that's a pretty good rendition of what you're going to need to make a band go along this ring okay pretty good match that's a second workflow that we've worked out for this same ring and of course then all you got to do is mirror that over and you've got your piece we're the right size and it's ready to go okay so the workflow with the curves basically your circle first then an outline in the side viewport extrude your circle extrude your uh, outline get a curve uh, or surface intersection going to create uh, an intersected curve and then just get your profile out there and go for it and sweep it real simple and the mounting coming in from uh, uh, Elux 3D is right here, and this is a new band, and this band is a poly surface. Let's go ahead and run a, a check on it. I always like to make sure that we've got a decent mounting here. Okay, and pretty easy to put that together. All right, this is the second way to do this. The first one was by using Cage Edit. This will probably get you a little closer as to what you need. Uh, as far as being right up against this particular ring. Thanks for watching.